distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's my distinct honor this uh, morning to introduce our guest speaker, our guest uh, lecturer for the 14th uh, of 2007 Arit Adams uh, Memorial Lecture. Our distinguished speaker was Dr. Mikanti K. Baru, the GMD of NMPC. He is, however, ably represented here today by the Acting Managing Director and COO of the Gas and Power Division or Directorate, Engineer Seydou Aliyu Mohammed. As our chairman just noted, Engineer Mohammed is a veteran of the Nigerian oil and gas industry and has had a very distinguished career in uh, the corporation in NMPC. He is a graduate of chemical engineering from Amadou Bello University, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Chemical Engineers, and a past president of Nigerian Gas Association, serving in 2012 to 2014. He joined NMPC in 1982 and has held several technical and managerial positions. The last before the current uh, position has been as Managing Director of Kaduna, Refi uh, uh, Kaduna Refinery. He has also served as the Managing Director of NGC from 2010 to 2014, and prior to that, he was Executive Director Operations of NGC for a period of three years, from 2007 to 2010. And uh, he has held several strategic positions before that, and working his way all the way to uh, his current position. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I do not believe uh, Engineer Seydou Mohammed needs any further introduction. Please join me to welcome our distinguished speaker who will speak on the topic of today, find more, produce more, in able representation of the GMD of NMPC. Engineer Seydou Mohammed. Chief 
Red Adams. I am really highly elated and I thank the organizers and singly thank my group managing director for giving me that opportunity to present him here. Mine is a very simple thing to read the GMD speech, but I know after that speech it would have triggered discussions. And I believe from what I see here of the distinguished ladies and gentlemen here, Tecton class of the industry, oil and gas. I'm sure the topic of search for more, produce more, will still will be dealt with, will be dealt with today. So let me go into uh, what I've been asked to do, which I said is very simple. Just read, and then we'll go into the questions. Some will reserve them for Dr. Baru. Others will try to attempt to answer. That is why the chairman with me also, in the spirit of what this lecture is all about, I have here with my colleague, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Dove Street, uh, Mr. Bello Rabiu. So I read, in the words of Dr. Baru, I wish I had delivered this paper in person. However, my apologies. Please. Good morning and happy new year as Oga puts it. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. It is my honor and privilege to be invited as a guest speaker at this year's Red Adams Annual Memorial Lecture, which is the 14th in the lecture series. I am particularly delighted to speak at this symposium in honor of my former boss who was in fact one of the pioneers who made outstanding contributions to the growth of the Nigerian oil and gas industry. I thank the organizers of this lecture for their kind invitation, for their kind invitation. I think maybe I should grow taller or shorter. <laughs> yeah. NMPC as a principal industry stakeholder will continue to support initiatives that promote Ari Adams' legacy and lofty ideals for the good of the industry. For the good of the industry in particular and the society at large. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I have been mandated to speak on my chosen theme, Find More, Produce More. The theme is very dear to me, considering our current economic situation. Outlook and set targets of building our reserves at least up to 40 billion barrels of oil and production of up to 4 million barrels per day by the year 2020. To achieve this target, we would need incremental of at least 1 billion barrels in reserves year to year till 2020, and at a minimum be able to produce at least, excuse me please, an incremental production, an incremental production of half a million barrels per day within the same time frame. Considering our curse for revenue generation as a nation, it is given that we need to increase our exploration efforts in order to sustain our reserves, base, and grow production. It is therefore behooves on us to continue to invest in our industry to address declining production rates and future increase in demands. The current global demand forecast for oil is expected to increase to about 17 million barrels per day by 2040. For us to be part of this and remain relevant, we need to find more, to produce more, thus making the theme of this series even more apt. Today, we are Africa's largest crude oil exporter, accounting for over 
of the continent's hydrocarbon production and the world's 10th largest oil producer. Since its discovery at Olobri 60 years ago, petroleum has played a prominent role in the socio-economic development of Nigeria. Today it generates over 70% of government's revenue and at least 90% of our export earnings. Globally, over the last two years, the downward trend in crude oil prices has comparatively resulted in low exploration efforts. There has been a dip in the exploration success rate from 34% in 2015 down to 31% last year. There has also been a shift in the exploration for high-risk prospects to low-risk prospects. Between 2015 and 2016, there has been about 25% drop in global spending in exploration and production, running into hundreds of billions of dollars. As we all know, this is directly attributable to the low prices of oil. Nevertheless, BP's statistical review of 2016 indicates that over the past decade, reserves have increased globally by 24% or about 320 million billion rather billion barrels with africa contributing about 8% of the global proven reserves of the of the six regions analyzed and with nigeria having about 3% of the share of africa in terms of production national average daily production as at last year stood at 1.85 million barrels However, from the peak production of 2.35 barrels per day, recorded at the beginning of 2016, production declined to an almost all-time low of 1.3 million barrels per day within the same year, due to mainly vandalism of the critical assets by saboteurs. Regrettably, based on our 2016 budget projection, of 2.2 billion million barrels per day production, there was a shortfall of about 350,000 barrels, automatically reflecting as a major stumbling block in government's concerted effort towards revenue generation. As I would always say, I would always solicit in any public forum like this, I want to use this opportunity and this medium to appeal to those behind these despicable acts to eschew violence and put an end to these obnoxious acts. Nonetheless, as part of government's commitment towards ensuring that Nigeria remains the number one producer and exporter of crude oil in Africa, the federal government has continued to sustain the amnesty program to ensure youth restiveness is stemmed. There is, there is also increased effort towards ensuring adequate security within the Niger Delta region in order to continue to attract investors as engagement with various stakeholders remains ongoing. On the political side, we have the Honorable Minister of State, Petroleum Resources, who continues to engage with all stakeholders in the Niger Delta. But on the operational front, the NMPC and the IOCs have formed what we call the Security Council being established as part of my 12 business <coughs> focus areas to seek and address the issues with the operations, communities, and all other stakeholders. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to say categorically that technological advancement and a review of our current industry practices are necessary to see improvements that can have profound effects on further high grading possible reserves into probable reserves and ultimately into proven reserves. The process of reserve and resource assessments should be a continuous activity such that in current producing formations, the assessments using modern technology refinements can lead to find more reserves and commercially producing them. 
This is necessary to improve our reserves replacement ratio as well as our reserves to production ratio. It is my firm belief that we are yet to fully harness the enormous potentials of the conventional resources in our basins, most especially the Niger Delta region. As you well all know, most of our reserves were based on 2D seismic data and shallow wells with, with long offset 3D seismic data and technological advances in drilling. We most certainly have not harnessed the potentials in our deeper reservoirs. Last year, following the sustained exploration efforts of ExxonMobil and our partners in OML 139, in the deep water train, the OWO field discovery of 2016 added 1 billion barrels to Nigeria's oil basket. It was indeed a cheering news to all of us. Likewise, there was also an increase in national gas reserves, 2P, from 188 trillion standard cubic feet in 2015 to about 192 trillion standard cubic feet in 2016, as published by DPR. Let me particularly thank Yinka Folawio Petroleum for their opening up the Dahomey Basin with the coming on stream of the Ajay field. From other climbs, let us cue from the Brazilians who are currently producing up to 1 million barrels of crude oil per day in what is termed as pre-salt formations in deep depth in excess of 2,000 meters. It is important to state that the Brazilians pioneered and developed their own technology to explore deep depths, working in collaboration with suppliers, universities, and research centers. Specifically, Petrobras that reported that the, the average time to build an offshore well in the Santos Basin Pre-Salt Scholastra used to be approximately 310 days until 2010. With the progress made in knowledge about the geology of the area, introducing advanced technologies with increased project efficiency, the time dropped to 128 days in 2015 and to 89 days for the first half of 2016, which represents about 71% reduction. This novel achievement led to a reduction in unit technical cost from $9 per barrel in 2014 to $8 per barrel in first quarter of 2016. It is my humble submission that we can learn from their experiences and even see how we can build on this achievement for the overall benefit of our industry. What then is important? What then is the import of the achievement above? The subject of finding more and producing more would be incomplete without relating it to the cost factor as well as the commodity price. Price may not be readily under our control, but we need to manage cost of production within the industry. Within the period we took over the reign of leadership of this corporation, we have been able to drive down cost, of, cost to a very commendable level. Though there is still a lot of room for improvement, we have, however, successfully renegotiated our deep offshore rig rate from a staggering $580,000 per day to $164,000 thousand dollars per day. Likewise, rig rates per day for both swamp and land operations have also dropped by over 35 percent. These successes so far recorded have also reflected in the reduction of the unit technical cost over the period. At this juncture, 
I am proud to announce that the UTC has significantly dropped from 70 US dollars per barrel in 2014 to about 27 US dollars per barrel as at year end of 2016. Nevertheless, efforts are ongoing to further drive down our UTC. But this cannot be achieved without support, cooperation, and collaboration of all stakeholders in the industry. It is worthy to mention that cost reduction will also solve, serve as initiative, an incentive rather, for investors to grow reserves, increase profitability, thus leading to increased return on investment. Government share of economic revenue will also improve with cost reduction, thus reducing budget deficits. There is no better time to invest in exploration than now when the crude oil price is low. So that when the tide turns, all we need to do is to turn on the taps. The current realities around the low oil price region calls for need for reserve growth to enable more production that can maintain the projected revenue stream. It is time to build up capacity by investing more, possibly in the homegrown solutions. Invest in our universities. Build up the capacity of the research centers. Find the development and fund the development of local solutions to tackle the challenges of the industry. In view of the foregoing, NMPC in collaboration with its joint venture partners and production sharing contractors is committed to the evaluation of some deeper potentials by acquiring long offset 3D seismic data for better imagery and maturation as drillable prospects as a way of funding additional reserves. Two, renewed efforts in the exploration activities in all the inland bases. Over 1,900 square meters of 3D seismic data has been acquired and processed in the Chad Basin. The data is currently being evaluated to high-grade identified leads to drillable prospects and mature them to ensure commencement of drilling this year. Three, capitalize on the current oil, low oil price regime, ideal for drilling rigs and low rig costs, to drill more exploratory and appraisal wells, which can later be produced to an additional revenue when the oil price is appreciated. Also, improved production through rigless operations are recompletion activities. Establishment of all an all-inclusive security committee comprising of all stakeholders to seek solution to the industry in our areas of operation. Also, ensuring that there is a yearly ring-fenced exploration budget to support increased and sustainable exploration to spur our service providers for more work opportunities. And finally, increase the local content participation in the EMP business by creating a enabling environment for indigenous participation. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, NMPC will continue to make investments towards increasing the national hydrocarbon reserves and daily crude and oil, crude oil and gas production. However, we solicit the support and cooperation of all stakeholders to achieve these lofty aspirations. And there is an urgent need to link the industry with other sectors of the Nigerian economy. To this end, we are committed to continue to propel the power, industrial and agricultural sectors of the economy by providing adequate gas to power and sustainable feedstock for fertilizer and petrochemicals industries. Lest I forget, the subject of finding more and producing more 
should be buttressed with the, connect, with the concept of refining more to create better value across the industry value chain. We need to create more value by increasing in-country refining, produce more products in the country rather than exporting, rather than exporting a monoproduct and massively importing its derivatives. We are committed to full rehabilitation of our industries, to our refineries, and increasing their efficiencies so that by 2019, we should have stopped importation of petroleum products and turning to become a net exporter of petroleum products. We will strive to continue touching your lives in many more positive ways.